द न्यू सिलेबस हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर टी वाय बी टेक फॉर द जाओ प्रोग्राम सो वी आर हैविंग द फिफ्टी मार्क्स टर्म वर्क एंड द यूई ऑफ फिफ्टी मार्क्स सो नाउ द कोर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव देर आर द डिफरंट कोर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव सो टू इंट्रोड्यूस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग जावा लैंग्वेज सो इन लास्ट सेमिस्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग बाय यूजिंग द सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज सो सेम कंसेप्ट वी कैन कैरी फॉरवर्ड फॉर द जावा लैंग्वेज अगेन द सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू लर्न हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट रिलायबल एंड सिक्योर एप्लीकेशन using exception handling and package concept so inside the java language we can extend whatever we learn in the c++ so many things we have learned already learn inside the c++ so that things we have to just carry forward so that we can learn the new things using the java language so again the third objective is to ability to write the programs related to the different file op operations so either we can save the data or we can just display the data by using the file operations again to understand how to design components with java swing api and mechanism of multi threading so whatever the gui based programming that can be appear inside the java programming so again we can discuss the multi threading again the database related activities that are again included inside the fifth ob objective again sixth objective is related to the network programming and the web programming so which includes the solid and jsp so the course objective these are the different course objectives and after learning this course the course outcomes are there that is you can just solve or just design the different programs by using the object oriented concept and java programming again we can apply the inheritance security and abstraction concept and design the program by using the package and interface concept again we can also able to use the exception handling and the file handling again we can create the desktop application using swing and event handling also illustrate the different concept related to the multi threading so again we can use the jdbc and collection framework so here these are the different units that are included inside the java programming so first unit is related to the fundamental of programming so here the fundamental programming includes the different features of the java programming and the different overview about the jvm that is java virtual machine again we just discuss the objects and classes so whatever we just discuss in the cpp that can be extended or revise and again how to write it is using the java syntax so all these things that can be again shown inside the object and classes again many more different features that are added inside the java programming so again inheritance uh, second unit is related to the inheritance so inheritance interface and packaging so whatever the inheritance types we can discuss inside the cpp the same few types that are included in the java language so the different uh, inheritance included the multiple 
inheritance is not included inside the java language so only that inheritance is not in, in, uh, included inside the java language other inheritance that can be used inside the java language again the interface and packaging includes the multiple things that are included inside the java language again we can discuss the how to create our own package how to write our own classes inside the package and other things then again third unit is related to the exception and, and streaming so exception handling includes dealing with the errors again n number of exception classes that are by default by the java language so that are again included inside the exception handling again we can put the uh, io stream byte stream so byte stream and character streams are included inside the io stream so different input output operations related to the file handling and the console handling that are included inside this io stream so again fourth one that is the how to design the graphical user interface by using swing component so in this we can design the button label again text field so whatever the things which we required to get the input from the user like your exam form so in exam form we have to fill the prn number then subjects then address then mobile number then email id same gui we can design by using swing component so again to place the component we required the layout manager so different layout managers that are used again the event handling mechanisms that are performed so for example event handling means what whenever we click on the any control then what actions to be performed that are included inside the event handling so for example suppose i want to click on the submit button so after clicking on the submit button what i expect whatever the data i have filled that data must be saved inside the database so same thing we can write in the code inside the event handling methods so again multi threading so multi threading is a concept in which we can perform or we can start the multiple threads at a one time so for example suppose if you take our desktop or mobile so they all support the multi threading concept because at one time we can run n number of applications at the background for example first we just open our whatsapp again we open the team application again we open the mail again we open the uh, pdf and so on so whenever one process is activated other threads are running at the background so this is called as multi threading so multi threading is nothing but we can perform number of tasks at same time then again there are the two types of the thread creation so by using the runnable interface and by using the thread class so either we can use the runnable interface or by with the help of thread class we can run the particular or we can create the particular threads again next one that is collection and database programming so collection is nothing but we can write the program for list queue set map by just having the inbuilt classes so already classes are provided by the java language our task is to just create the object of that classes and we can call the different methods related to that collection classes so this is nothing but the collection again suppose i want to 
save the data into the database then i have to use the database program so for example suppose if user want to save his own details inside the database then he can just save by using this particular facility so database programming includes the design of jdbc again the sql language so sql is a language through which we can just write the queries and we can insert the data or update the data or select the data or delete the data from the database so for that we have to create first database so database we can create by using any software either from oracle or whatever ms access or mysql or sql server so from any database software you can create the database and after creating the database you can just create the tables inside the database and within the table you can store the number of records inside the database as a tuple so within the table the database is having the form structure as column and rows so like our excel structure so it is having the column wise and row wise data so you can store the data or access the data either column wise or row wise so that whatever the query we can give the same data we can return by the program again last unit <coughs> is related to the networking so inside this unit we can study the networking basis so again socket programming is included inside the networking so to connect with two machines or one server one client we can use this network programming and last one which is newly inserted in the new syllabus is the web programming language so solid and jsp are included inside this web programming language so the servlet is used to display the output on the browser so we have to write the java code and we can display the output on the browser so again this is the marks distribution for the term work so 25 marks for the performance in the practical and experiment and 25 marks for two objective test each of 25 marks and average of that is considered as your 25 marks so this is the distribution which is already set by the university so from term work 50 marks the 25 25 marks are divided so 25 marks for two test and that is mid test and interim test and 25 marks for your performance in the practical experiment so these are the experiment list which are already given by the university and these are the books so first of all you have to refer this reference book or you can just download the uh, book i will upload on the channel you can download from there so java the complete reference by herbert shield so this is the particular book in which the basic concepts related to the java programming that are given so again for more advanced concept you can use the core java volume 1 and core java volume 2 so core java well, volume 1 is for unit 1 to 4 so all the concepts related to the 1 to 4 unit that are included inside the volume 1 so i have already uploaded this book inside the files so you can just download the books from this files inside the team application and again you can refer n number of books which are available and again for last unit you can use the 
Java Servlet Programming and the Java Server Pages book. So from any book, you can refer the contents. So this is the about whole syllabus. So now we just start our introduction to the Java language. So inside this, we just see the different features that is buzzwords. Again, the bytecode concept, then how to write the simple Java program and so on. Okay, so let's start with our Java program. So our unit one is related to the fundamentals of Java language. So inside the C, prog C, uh, C programming, we just discuss the basic structure of the programming. So whatever the control structures, whatever the do while, if else, loop, that are again same we can use inside the CPP as well as inside the Java language. Again, whatever the class structure, then class method, public, private, protected. Again, this same concept we can also applicable inside the Java language. So the half part is already aware to you inside the Java language. So it is related to the C and C++ syntax. So we have to just redefine the code, whatever available inside the C and C++ language. So this is the evolution of the particular Java language. So why Java language is evolved? So initially, the Java language is designed and developed by the Sun Microsystem in, in the year 1991. So initially, it is called as OAK, that is OG, but later, it is called as Java language. So it is very much similar to C++. That's why it is called as C++++. So whatever the contents which are included inside the C++ language, same content, contents that are carry forward inside the Java language, but with the different facilities that are added more. Again, initially, the Java language is developed for the electronic devices. For example, TV, VCR, washing machine, or mobile phone, freeze. So whenever we just consider any electronic devices, it is having the embedded programming. And depending on that, depending on that, it can work. So, so here, again, for the initial phase of development, it is only related to the consumer devices, electronic devices. Later, it can be extended to the web-based programming as well as the distributed computing. So Java initially, it is a independent CPU independent language. That is, you can r write the code once and you can run anywhere n number of times. So for example, suppose I just write the code by using the Windows OS and same code we can run on the Linux platform or on the Mac OS or Solaris and so on. So in any platform, you can run that code. So that's why it is called as independent language. So again, the internet and web-based things that are included inside the 
Java programming. So also Java also allows to publish the web pages with the help of Java code. So basically the applet programming is used to embed the applet ja, embed the java code inside the web page and we can display the output on the browser so initially in 1990 the java is uh, the sun microsystem is desi designed to develop the one specific software for electronic devices and after that up to this era, there are the number of versions that can be published by the Sun Microsystem. So, so inside the these versions, again, the same Java programming that are again applicable to develop the Android applications. So all the Android applications that are developed by using this Java programming. So these are the buzzwords or features or characteristics of the Java language. So these are the different characteristics, simple, object oriented, distributed, interpreted, robust, secure, architecture neutral, portable, performance, multi-threading, and dynamic. So these are the different characteristics by which the Java makes a popular language. So what is mean by simple? So simple means we can write the code in the similar fashion, whatever we write in the C++, but with more functionality and reducing the drawbacks of the C++. So it is very easy to write the code. So our task is to just create the object of the particular class and we have to write the object dot, whatever the functions which are mentioned inside the class to apply that facility in our code so for example suppose i want to create the database programming then our task is to just create the object of database class and with the help of object dot whatever the functions we can access the contents from the database so same thing that are applicable to the file so all these things are very much simple so that the developer can understand this concept and he can write the code in very much simple way again second one that is object oriented so java is basically called as purely object oriented because each and everything that are included in the java language is with the help of object so we can add the number of facilities, we can modify the facilities in very much easily. So the object oriented programming that is OOP is basically a simple object oriented programming. That is if you are not writing the object oriented part, again, we can write it by using the simple code also. But inside the Java language, we have to adapt the object oriented programming so each and every program inside the java language is started with our class and once we write the class then only we can able to compile our program so each and everything is related to the object oriented program that's why it is called as purely object oriented the next one that is distributed so distributed in the sense that suppose I want to write the code. Uh, for example, I want to take the input from one machine and I want to write the same data into the another machine. 
that is copy the data from one machine to the another machine so for that purpose i have to connect to that two machines so that programming that can be performed by using the java language again chatting so chatting is nothing but <laughs> chatting is nothing but we have to just connect we have to just connect to the <clears throat> two machines and we can just establish the secure communication channel and we can send the message and reply the text so this is nothing but the chatting so same application or same concept of distributed programming is applicable inside the whatsapp or any chatting applications again interpreted so interpreted is nothing but each and every java code whenever it is compiled it can be written inside the byte code so jvm jvm compiler is responsible to write the code inside the byte code so the feature of the byte code is it is a machine independent so you can just once compile that code and you can run on any machine or any os it will be work so that's why it is called as byte code so that byte code is written in the format of dot class file so once we compile our dot java file it will create the dot class file and that dot class file includes the byte code so that byte code we can run anywhere or any platform so that it will display the output so this is called as interpreted next one that is robust so robust in the sense that the java programming having the n number of exception handling fe features as well as classes so that we can handle each and every exceptions which are occurred in the java language so this is called as robust then secure so inside the java language there are the multiple mechanisms to protect your system from the hacking or any other security concerns which harms your program then architecture neutral so architecture neutral means we can design the code by using the virtual programming and we can run it on any platform so the low tag line of the java language is to write once and run anywhere so this is called as architecture neutral so you can design the program on any platform any hardware configuration and you can run on any platform or any other platform with different hardware configuration again next one that is portable so portable means you can run that program on any platform suppose if you write the program on the windows and want to run on the ubuntu or linux any linux os then it can be possible to run that program on the linux by using this portable option without the recompilation so this is this feature is not available inside the cpp suppose inside the cpp if you write the program on the windows and if you want to compile it on the linux or ubuntu you have to just change few things 
so that it is compatible to the Linux platform. So this is not happen inside the Java language. Once you write the code on any platform, it can be run everywhere. Then performance. So because of Java is a architecture neutral, the performance on any platform is same. Again, multi-threading. So multi-threading means we can run the different tasks at same time, which is called as multi-threading. And last one that is dynamic. So dynamic means what? Suppose if you are designing one software and we want to just add the new facility inside the software. So without recompiling the whole code, we can add the new code inside the present software. So this is called as dynamic. So these are all the features which are involved inside the Java programming. So these are the different JDK versions for the Java programming. So currently we just use JDK 1.8. So for each and every version, the different facilities get added. And now the Sun microsystem is over, uh, taken by the Oracle software. So whatever the newly editions that are released by the Oracle. So JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Again, the JDK having the different additions. So depending on the application use, there are the different additions. So J2SC, that is Java Standard Edition, is used for client-side applications or applets. So again, all the basic programming as well as the GI program is, is, is included inside the Java standard edition. Again, the Java enterprise edition includes the solid programming and the JSP programming. So Java server pages programming and Java solid programming that are included inside the Java enterprise edition. And the Java micro edition includes the programming related to the mobile devices. So all these additions that are present, so depending on our requirement, we can just download this and you can execute the program. So these are the different IDE tools. So we can also download the NetBeans or JBuilder or Eclipse or one studio. So all these particular tools or you can just design the code by using the notepad and just simply run that particular file. No problem. So these are the different tools. So either you can use the IDE tools or simply write the program and in the notepad and just compile the and run the program. No problem. So this is the overlapping of C, C++ and Java language. So in the middle, it is a C. So all the C syntax that are included inside the C++ and both C and C++ syntax, syntax that can be shared by the Java programming with addition of the facility. So basic syntax is whatever used in the C and C++ that are also used in the Java language with the number of facilities that are newly added inside the Java language. Again, what is the things which are better than the C++? So you don't have the type dev or define or preprocessors. Then you don't have the global variables. You don't have the go to statement pointers. So pointer concept is totally removed from the Java language. So it only include the pointer is only included 
are limited within the C and C++, not in any programming language. Again, multiple inheritance is not included inside the Java language. Again, operator overloading concept is not included in Java language. But Java includes the GUI programming, network programming, database programming, web programming, and so on. So n number of facilities that are added as compared to the C++ language. So this is the object oriented language comparison. So C++ and Java. So encapsulation, inheritance, multiple inheritance, polymorphism, again binding, mm. concurrency, garbage collection, and class libraries. So all these particular features that are included inside the Java language. So I think today we'll stop here and whatever the other things we can learn tomorrow.